Daily Audience, Sales Promotion Using the Internet. Hello, this is part two of the Daily Audience video series. This video will teach you the correct way to create a Facebook business page with SEO or search engine optimization in mind. After following these steps, your page will be optimized to the fullest, allowing it to be easily found and searched for using any search engine. All right, so let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is create the actual page, which you can do by going over to the little more button near the pages, click the create a page button, <coughs> and choose you know local business or place. You're going to want to fill all of this out correctly, and then you're going to want to hit get started. I've already done that, and I'm going to be using one of my latest clients as an example. His company is called Granite Warehouse and in the next step you're going to want to choose a couple categories these will help people find your page so it is important that you choose you know the most relative categories that relate to your business so um, let's do service professional services it's going to go ahead and give you some more ideas which you can click on so for his i'm going to choose we'll do multiple multiple ones so we'll do commercial and industrial let's go back to that services and we'll choose warehouse that's perfect and we will choose one more home improvement okay <clears throat> next you're gonna wanna generate a very quick little 155 lo characters long description about your business and this will be important so you're gonna wanna make sure that everything makes sense and is attractive this is gonna be what people see when they click on about and I'm just gonna go to his website and pull the the about us page as you see it is pretty short and we'll be able to add longer descriptions later so is this a real establishment yes you're also going to want to add the uh, the website URL if you have one and hit save. Okay, upload a profile picture. Now here you're going to want to have some sort of profile picture. I believe I already have one. Let's see. Let's do the white background. Ooh, I don't like how that is. Okay, so I'm going to quickly go on Photoshop and make this a, a square photo so that it fits well in here. One second. Okay, now that I've made that square, I'm going to go go ahead and use the square logo. And there we go. Now it fits in there nicely. Go ahead and click Next. We will add this to my favorites since it is my client. I'll be working with them quite often. Okay, this is for advertisements. We don't need this. So you can just skip that. Okay, so now we have the basics down. Yes, I will like this page. All right, so there's a couple things now that we have this this new page that we're going to want to do. The first thing we're going to want to do is create a cover photo, <clears throat> which I've already done um, right here. I've already created a nice little cover photo, so we can add that now. Upload photo. Here's the cover photo. And the way that I created this cover photo, I, I actually used a template that shows me the exact Facebook dimensions for the cover photo. So you can go ahead and Google search that, or maybe I'll provide a link to that uh, template in the description. I'm not really sure. We'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is go to Edit Page, and all of these options in here, you're going to want to optimize and make sure that it's up to date and extremely accurate and correct. Okay, we don't need that. A long description. So here we go. A long description. You're going to want to add a longer description. And this does pull keywords, guys. So make sure that um, your description is very, very good. It includes very relevant information. Luckily, he already has a, a description for me to use. So I can just use that. Okay, so price range. We don't need to worry about that right now parking we don't need to worry about that email address can add his email address here you'll add your email address I will do it later now let's go to general alright this page is public all this looks like it is good we don't need to in the page roles you can go ahead and make somebody else an admin which we don't need to worry about right now okay now you're just about done optimizing your page 
The next thing you're going to want to do, which we will talk about in the next video, is creating posts and sharing them and promoting your page. So like this video if it helped you out, if it gave you any good ideas. Stay tuned for more and we'll talk about promoting in the next video. Thanks for watching guys.